if you're getting a lot of these spams, uh, what can you do? Okay, I think the first thing is like, I think the, the normal practice for any platform is that you receive a spam mm. uh, or any junk or anything, uh, the first thing you do is you can report the junk. So, uh, going back to this uh, issue again, right? So this is sent by iMessage. So Apple has actually provided like a link uh, at the bottom of the message. Mm. It says that, okay, the sender is not in the contact list, report junk. Mm. So you can report that. So they will actually report to Apple and they'll delete it and block it. Yep. You can actually have that option. So you won't receive this spam message again mm. from this specific sender. But as we mentioned earlier, right, these uh, scammers or spammers, they are smart enough to use different ID all the time. Yep. So we'll be getting different uh, same messages by different senders every single day. Yep. So you gotta do that on a daily day on a daily basis. Or so on a basis every time you get the message. Yes. Yeah. So another option would be especially for Malaysia, because um I think in most Asian countries, I think we are using mostly third party apps to communicate. Mm. Um uh, like WhatsApp, WhatsApp, like WhatsApp, Telegram, Telegram, all that. Uh-huh. I think WhatsApp the the one of the biggest, especially in Asia. Mm. Um, unlike Europe and uh, US, mm. where texting is still dominant. Yep. So people still use still text people. You they use the SMS or text. Mm. But uh, going back again to Malaysia, if you're not using iMessage, like I don't use iMessage. How about mm. you? I nope, I don't. And we also did a quick survey around office. I think only one or two use. Who uses iMessage? iMessage maybe for their family or loved ones, <laughs> like one, what? but not mass. Because for me, it's like most of the communication I've done with friends, family, even and it's WhatsApp. Dude. It's always WhatsApp. Yeah. WhatsApp is a pro- de facto messaging yeah. app in Malaysia, yeah. cross platform. Yeah. And yeah, so that's why uh, Zamir wrote an article that, you know, if you're receiving a lot of these messages, mm. one of the viable solution, if you don't use iMessage, mm. is to just turn off iMessage. To disable it completely. Yeah, disable it completely. Right. But don't I get my bank uh, pin and PU, not PUK, TAC and mm-hmm. all that stuff through iMessage? Yeah, that's the thing. Because the way Apple has done it so well, mm. that iMessage and SMS is combined, right? People can't see the difference. So a lot of people assume... Yep that if you disable iMessage, mm. it will disable your SMS, SMS. Com- completely. Yep. Some mm. say that, hey, this what's this, what's this, this silly suggestion? What kind of tip is this, right? Yeah. So that means I don't need to do my banking, is it? Yeah, I don't need to huh. do banking, is it? I cannot receive my messages, yeah, is it? Your yeah. SMS can receive, is it? Yeah, yeah. No, it's not. Because yeah. if you disable iMessage, mm. you still receive SMS. Mm. That's one thing I want to make clear. Mm. And actually, in fact, when you look at your messaging app, right, you can tell whether an app is sent by iMessage uh-huh. or, or SMS, SMS or yep. MMS. Mm. So if the message is in blue color you see the blue bubble mm. that's iMessage mm-hmm. if it appears in green mm. that's SMS MMS mm. so if you disable iMessage right your SMS still can come through yep. so that includes your OTP password or if you log into I don't know uh, online service they send yep. a verification code all that yep. you still can get it yep. so that's that's the thing so mm. people, um, they're not familiar with that Even, and I also saw some tweets right complaining to MCMs hey I'm getting this TikTok SMS mm. but it's actually iMessage mm. yeah so that's the difference here yeah and that's the problem right okay so you talk about like MCMC, you, you can complain to MCMC, but to be honest, uh, uh, okay, I'll be very honest, MCMC is useless <laughs> at this point in time. <sighs> uh, yeah, they are useless. I, yep. Unfortunately, they can't help you, but it's quite difficult for them to to address this this problem because like Alex mentioned, right, and if you look at uh, all the messages, like if I go through all the iMessages I get, right, the sender is, one of them is kzpvoq90202929 at outlook.com it's yeah. just some random email and also another thing is a uh, privacy issue as well right because I can I can imagine if let's say I'm Apple right mm. um, because they are all about privacy right mm. because all these messages that are sent by iMessage are encrypted end to end yep so it's not in their jurisdiction to really check whether this email is legit or not this message is legit. This is how I feel. Uh, yeah, because I'm thinking like, okay, if I'm MCMC and I get this report from people saying, hey, MCMC, uh, MCMC I'm getting spam messages from from uh, iMessage. Mm-hmm. So, okay, I'll take a sample of the spam messages and I'll send it to Apple. Apple, this is, these are spam messages mm-hmm. that users have been sending us. Can yep. you do something about it? Yep. At most, what Apple can do is block the the random email address. But you cannot block the domain. You cannot block at outlook.com yep, correct. They're over or the at hotmail.com or at or even at iCloud.com, which is Apple's platform. Yep. So why I'm saying this is because number one, uh, Zamira wrote an article and saying that, okay, this spam is happening and this is what you can do. Uh, and like Alex mentioned, it's about disabling iMessage. If you're not using it, just disable it. Yep. Then we got like tons of backlash from our, from our readers. Not f- I don't know from our readers or from wherever because it's mm-hmm. all on social media saying that, oh, okay, if we disable iMessage, how, can we, how are we going to get messages? 
uh, SMS specifically. But if you look at the platform itself, iMessage is not even written in any of the applications. So if you go into your iPhone or even on, on my MacBook right now, right, uh, it says messages and not iMessage. Yeah. It's But only when you look inside. Yes. The, yeah. Then you can see that, oh, there's iMessages and SMS. So what's the difference? Like if I'm if I'm looking at my Mac right now, I, I can't see any SMSs. But if I look at my iPhone, I can see SMSs and iMessage. Then you ask me, oh, what about um, messages that I'm getting that has a phone number? Uh, well, that's that's because that person is a iPhone user mm -hmm. and is sending that message to you using the messages app. But it is sent to you via the iMessage platform yep. and not through the phone number. Mm -hmm. So it's not charged. Yep. So that's the difference. So if you are the one that's reading our article and we're saying that, okay, disable iMessage and your concern is getting reminders from your services, getting uh, TAC from your bank and all that, we can assure you that that won't happen because it's two completely different platforms. Yeah, but I must remind you that if you have multiple Apple devices, say mm. you have an iPhone, you have an iPad and a, and a Mac, uh, you have to disable iMessage on all devices because you know why? Mm. If you disable iMessage on your iPhone, mm. uh, if it, let's say an, uh, a friend of yours send a message on mm. iPhone, mm. it will not go to your phone, but it will pop up on your Mac, Mac and, and iPad. iPad yeah. yeah, so you won't get the message. Yep. So to make sure that they are sending to you by SMS, mm. you got to turn off iMessage on all devices. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and sometimes, you know, you... Uh, uh, parents specifically, you might link all your accounts to all your devices. So if you are in the Apple ecosystem, you have an iPhone, a MacBook, and a, and a tablet, for example, and it's, it's all linked up. So you might be able... To, you might disable iMessage on your iPhone and you don't see it anymore. But my concern is on your tablet because most of the time kids use tablets and they might accidentally click yep. because there's a WhatsApp link. They might accidentally copy, send it over and inevitably something might happen. So be sure to disable it on, on all your devices like you mentioned. The concern is right now this huge uh, uh, trend of spams coming in. Uh, we don't know what Apple is doing. And you know, to Apple's credit, all this is encrypted. They don't even know that this is happening. And users can report, but the scammers are just changing the email addresses. So it's a it's a cat and mouse game all the time lah.